Good morning. Uh, welcome to another one of my reviews of my collection. Uh, this time it's, it's something I thought I'd done before, but I've just checked my list. I don't think I've done it before, so apologies if this is a, a duplicate. It's a lovely sunny day here in South Wales. Um, this is a bit of a tribute as well to the late Charlie Watts, uh, one of the most awesome drummers of keeping the, uh, the beat, I believe. Uh, so rest in peace, Charlie Watts. And this is a bit of a tribute to as well. This is a deep, uh, my Stones DVD, Blu-ray, and uh, my mini book sort of collection. I put it all together to make one, one, uh, one entry. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy. As as before, any comments, feel free to put. Whether you like it or dislike it, or any improvements you'd like to see, or little things you might uh, be interested in. So we'll kick off with the the Blu-rays. Uh, first one up is um, the Martin Scorsese film, Shine a Light. Uh, this is the Stones in concert in America with um, several guest artists. Uh, five Star Spectacular, it says on the back. So uh, it's pretty good. Uh, obviously, uh, as with the Stones, there's, there's a plethora of uh, uh, archival material now. This is um, one of the first Blu-rays I think I bought, uh, Rolling Stones Live. This is at the Max. So this is uh, an IMAX production, or actually it's not one of the first, 20th and first edition, it says on there. So this is uh, Stones in um, in full flight in big, if you saw it on the IMAX, I didn't, uh, it must have been quite impressive. So that's like, we're on Stones live at the max. Uh, so this is one of the archive series from the Stones. Uh, this is... Uh, the Marquee live in 1971 uh, from the vaults. I think the series is called. There you are, Blu ray from the vaults. This has got, uh, oh, there you are, Live With Me, Dead Flowers. I got the blues, Let It Rock, Midnight Rambler. If you're going to get a satisfaction, Bitch and Brown Sugar bonus performance, I got the blues. Uh, so that's uh, Live at the Marquee, 19, Marquee Club 1971, which is in London. Uh, one of the first. So the venues they frequented. This is another one in the archive for the Vault series. This is live at the Tokyo Dome on a Steel Wheels tour. Um, I saw them on the the, the British, uh, the European leg of that, or the British section, the Urban Jungle, and we'll more about that a bit later. So that's live at the Tokyo Dome. That's another Blu-ray. Uh, here we are, uh, Bridges to, don't we get this right now, Bridges to Bremen from the which is the Babylon album tour? Uh, this is, uh, yeah, no, it's quite a solid. Uh, I have been opening these up because uh, I don't know whether there's such an appetite for that with some Blu ray DVD collectors. But here we go, there's a, quite a solid book in there. Oh, uh, there you go, and um, this would be quite poignant. There's Charlie himself, always a man of style and uh, grace, uh, the heart of the stones, I feel. Uh, it be interesting to see what happens now. No doubt they'll tr trudge on with a replacement drama. But I think uh, something will be missing there. God rest in peace, Charlie. So this is uh, another Blu-ray. This is Hafana Moon. Uh, this has got, the, the, as, as, as you're aware, most of these have got the usual um, Stones, Greatest Hits uh, set lists. Uh, Jumping Jack Flash, Sony Rock and Roll, Epic Control, which is probably one of the best, you know, back catalogues of songs that any group has got to play. I wish they, sometimes they would play more, although they do dip into obscure numbers now and again, and it's always a joy. This is uh, Sweet Summer Sun. This is Tahe Park Live, um, returning to their, uh, their, um, the venue for their 1969 concert. More of that later as well. So there you go. This is, this is one of the, starts with one of the most traditional uh, concert beginning ones, Start Me Up. Uh, it's only rock and roll is thrown in early as well, and that's pretty good. This is in a, a sleeve, um, which have the same got the same artwork on it. Uh, just makes it feel a bit more, I don't know, complete. Is that the word? Uh, so we're on to the DVDs now. This is an interesting one. This is some girls live in Texas, seventy eight. So this is the some girls tour. Uh, this is got a, this is a DVD CD set, so this is a nice set with a, the concert which starts with Let It Rock. Uh, 
as you can see, there's some sort of pseudo uh, Soviet Union propagandist type picture there. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there you go. It's quite a. This is obviously be most of the uh, satellite is taken up by tracks from some girls. When it comes down, beast of burden, uh, miss you, etc., etc. So, it, but uh, respectable. Uh, winding up with a uh, seventeen tracks on you. Winding up with jumping jack flash. This is again a step case. Uh, this this opens up. Uh, it's not a traditional DVD because it's double set. And then there, there's the CD and the DVD. Nice set. And, uh, double value for a, a CD collector as well. So we're on to. Uh, now this is quite poignant. This way, Charlie is my darling. This is a very early DVD um, released by Abco, I think. Yeah. Now before seen fo footage performances. Unprecedented backstage access, newly discovered footage, 2K scam. So this is um, pretty basic, but it has got uh, a bit of information on there. So that's a nice uh, earlier um, uh, Irish tour, I think it is. Ireland 1965, yeah. So uh, this is another DVD. This is the Muddy Waters Rolling Stones Checkerboard Lounge uh, DVD. Uh, yeah, this is a two CD set. Uh, starts off with Sweet Little Angel, Flip Flop Fly. So there's that. This is simply different from some of the other concert sort of uh, stuff. Obviously, in concert with uh, Muddy Waters. So that's a standout session, I guess. Uh, this is uh, the first of my CD, CD, DVD box sets. This is the, my preferential one. This is Four Flicks. We will um, endeavor to get this out. Some of these are not that easy to get out. What am I doing wrong here? Perhaps I don't want to get it out. Ugh. I'm on a bad morning this morning, I think, with this sort of stuff. There you go, now we've cracked it. This has got, um, as you can see, this has got an outer case. And then, aha, this is probably why I was having a few problems. The CDs are all going to fall out now. This is a, well, let me, okay, a five, five disc DVD uh, uh, set. So I'll try and hold this up. It is a bit complicated. Yeah, there you go. That's a nice set, isn't it? Pictures of the band there, Charlie at the front there, uh, or the back, whichever way you're looking at it. And um, and uh, four, uh, five, sort of separate. Uh, there's a documentary. There's an arena show. There's a stadium show and then a theater show. Um, one of my favorite uh, performances on here, Midnight Rambler. I think it's the arena show. Oh, it's just a different class. If you can get to see it on YouTube. Uh, uh, put that in there so it's uh, Midnight Rambler you're looking for. Uh, Ronnie and uh, uh, Mick on the uh, harmonica there is truly fabulous. The good set that is. It's my favourite four flips, I think, of that era. Uh, we're pushing on now to a similar sort of set. Again, this is. Um, so I don't. I don't know, should have kept, should have, not much prep's gone on this morning. Should have counted these before I went in. So that's, this is a four DVD set. Okay, what have we done here? Uh, there we go. So this, as I didn't show you there, this is uh, the biggest bang. Four CD yes. And this is at four. Uh, yeah, four different uh, venues on the Bigger Bang Tour. Welcome to the exclusive video chronicle of the Bigger Bang Tour. Working. There you go. So that that fits nicely away there. That's that's the cover there. I didn't think I showed you it. the Bigger Bang. It's similar to the Four Flex. Uh, got a sort of compilation one, yeah. Although the stones are top in it, yeah. It's Tokyo Rocks. Nice lineup. HCZC Rush. The Guess Who, Justin Timberlake, and the Isley Brothers, the Flaming Lips. So they're quite a Jim Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, and the Have Love Will Travel review, filmed in front of 490,000 fans. <coughs> the ultimate concert lineup. <coughs> so uh, that's uh, sneaking in there as a compilation sort of one, I suppose, with a stone top and a belt. Uh, this is the one I was talking about earlier. This is 1969, probably one of the most famous concerts. This is going to go a slipcase with a s similar sort of one. Uh, get that open with the, the stones in the park. This is the, the one just after Brian Jones's death and the release of the butterflies. Uh, also on the bill that day were King Crimson, I believe. Um, 
I kind of memory escapes me for who else was there. Uh, McTaylor's first performance, I think, live performance. Um, special features. Uh, this is uh, so. This is another DVD. Uh, that's the oldest one I got, I think. So it got a few others still to go. Yeah, this is a uh, quite a few. Some of them seem to have slip cases. This is um, Crossfire Hurricane, the documentary, which is very good. Uh, a lot of previously unseen performances, and uh, hard to find DVDs of them performing. That's Crossfire Hurricane. I <coughs> Excuse me, I recommend that. This is uh, another one was reissued a few years back. Another in the slipcase. This is Ladies and Gentlemen, the Rolling Stones. Cracking sort of shambolic performance. Uh, I think uh, opening a concert with Brown Sugar. How about that then? Bitch, give me shelter, dead flowers. And winding up with Street Fighter Man this time. Can't always get you on, Sweet Virginia. Songs are peerless on there. Uh, this is a less official one, I guess. Give me shelter. Uh, we all know the story about that, I suppose. <coughs> Backstage pass. Uh, give me shelter. Why do they call it less official? It probably is official. There you go. Perhaps it's one of those day today. And finally, my final uh, thing is uh, another famous one. Uh, if you're in the Stones, you know all about this. It's the Rock and Roll Circus, where no doubt it's a really, uh, well, to me, uh, uh, a, a contentious performance. I like the performance on it. It's uh, from the Stones. I think they're they're all over the place, a bit wishy washy, and sort of forgive me for saying this, drug addled perhaps. Uh, but that's what the Stones were at the time. <coughs> so I'm going to cough this morning. So I forgive you for interrupting my speech. Um, loads of other groups on there, of course. Uh, Jeff Rotal, The Who, Who, uh, great performance on Who with a quick one. Uh, um, upstage in the Stones, I believe. Uh, John Lennon's involved in a few things on the Dirty Mac. Uh, Yoko Ono, of course. Marion Faithful, Taj Mahal. Uh, wasn't released at the time. Mick Jagger wasn't happy with it, um, apparently. Uh, but it came out and has been reissued a few times since. This is a quite nice package, sort of circusy feel to it. So that's the last of my DVDs. <coughs> so here you go. So this is um, my box now. This is the journey through the Americas with Rolling Stones. This is the the lot of uh, controversial stories in this. Uh, Robert Greenfield is the author. Uh, forward by Ian Rankin, 1972 Toro Americas, as they were calling them there. Uh, a lot of uh, scandal, not quite as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, I've got the Rolling Stones Compete album file. This is a nice, neat little book of uh, pictures of all the albums and uh, not much commentary, but uh, good. This is a uh, the Rough Guide series, this is very good. If you if, The series is very good, but the Stones ones is particularly good. I recommend that. Uh, I've got a concert program there. Well, I didn't get one from the last one, so the Big Bang Tour, but Urban Jungle, Cardiff Arms Park at the time, European 1990. Keith actually split his finger, the concert had to be postponed. It's that one in Cardiff. This one's a bit tricky to hold up. This is Roy Carr's The Rolling Stones. An illustrated record. Uh, as anyone who got this knows, this this is falling apart, and it fell apart pretty quickly after I bought it. Uh, there's a binding issue with it, but it is a terrific book. Um, LP size, LP size pictures. Um, a lot of data, obviously, uh, only up to a certain date. Excellent book, though, if you can get hold of it second hand. Uh, this is uh, Stories Burning Each Song, it's only rock and roll. Um, uh, of course, some of the songs haven't got much of a story, but yeah, I know, so that can be disappointing sometimes. Good book, though. And finally, uh, a session sort of book. Um, complete recording session. <coughs> Excuse me. Complete recording session, 62 to 2012. Pictures of them there. And, and this is... Uh, this I uh, got the Beatles ones as well. And of course, just, uh, it tells you when every track was recorded, all the different versions and stuff like that. A complete disc. <laughs> Manual if you ever wanted one. So that's um, Stones DVD, Blu-ray, and books. Uh, as I always say, um, 
I try to make it a little bit interesting for people. If you don't, if you feel like you do do better, just put your comments in, or you want to ask any suggestions, that's fine. Uh, good to hear from you. Take care, and I'll be along with more soon. Bye.